Back on P99, on Jane's. Ah, it's good to be back. I've been spending a lot of time on Project Quarm, which is a very different experience. Certain things I like about that better than this server, and vice versa. I'll talk about that a little bit more later. Ooh, I need Spirit of Wolf. So, I'm trying to get level 39, and I decided, what the heck, why don't I try the Spectres? I looked them up, and they're about level 32 to 37. But all the guides that I'm finding are saying don't touch them until 39, which I can't figure out because I don't think I get a new undead nuke at 39. Like, the most recent one I got was 34. So, I don't really understand why that's the case, and I see Necros lower than 39 they're killing them, so I thought, what the heck, let's give it a try. I could probably kill them, right? Well, I haven't even gotten a chance because, not surprisingly, they're camped. So, I could either go to the Firat. I'm an Oasis, by the way. I could either go to the Firat or... I could try, and this is probably a horrible idea, <laughs> I found these little goblins down here that are blue, and I thought, well, heck, why not, you know? I mean, I'm better against the undead, but I do specialize in evocation, so, see, I don't like that. I don't like when they haste themselves. That tells me that that's probably a shaman. Could be an enchanter. Well, that would be horrible if it was an enchanter. This one I saw casting some sort of damage shield. Probably a wizard if I had to take a guess. That's also bad. I did give myself some of the uh, resist buffs. I don't have resist cold yet, so... My resists aren't great. I mean, <laughs> Endure Magic only gets me to 60. But, what the heck, let's give it a shot. I mean, I'm full mana. I'm level 38, as you can see. And... A wizard should have lower hit points at least, right? I've also got fear up, just in case. Figure that could be useful. So, let's give it a go. Okay, 216. Full damage. That's good. It's a good start. And he are, he's already hitting me. I don't know how. Oh boy, here it comes. Ooh! You know what? I nuked him harder than he nuked me, so I'm going to consider that a win. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. My protection fades? What protection? Oh, that's not good. That's one of my hit point buffs. I probably shouldn't have feared him so close to the water. Oh, good thing he's got... Oh, a sand giant! Oh, ho ho! Why not bring one of those into the party? Nah, they won't assist the goblin, but jeez. And now I can't land the nuke because it's underwater. Oh, no, I did. Okay, good. Boy, oh boy, I'm like... Ha! Ooh! Wait, struck down by the wrath? That's the... Isn't that the same spell I cast? Is this a cleric? Oh my god. Okay, fear again. This isn't going very well. If this is a cleric, I think I'm screwed, because I can't... I mean, I'm not even DPSing enough. It's not even half. Uh, try this. If this doesn't work, I might try the sand giant. Here we go, get a little melee damage in there. Uh-oh. Oh. You know what, buddy? Why don't we get nice and close to the South Rose home line, just in case. Just in case. I probably should have started this fight off with this spell, although I don't know. Let's see what he casts on me now. Oh, Root, lovely. That is lovely. Let's, uh, let's fear this guy. Because I'm getting low on health now. Oh, jeez. This is not good. I'm at... Oh, come on. Okay, we're out of here. Nope, not going to happen. <laughs> what a fail. Alright, back in the saddle. we got the Sand Giant here. And I'm not full health, but my logic is I'm not trying to get into a melee fight with this guy anyway. So hopefully I can just... Okay, did 9% of his health. It took 10% of my mana. <laughs> that, that's not gonna... It's not gonna get the job done. Ugh. But, you know, who knows what level this guy is. Oh boy, I'm gonna get hit. I forgot these guys are pretty fast. Wow, I still haven't gotten hit. And I got a little melee damage in! See, if this guy is like 29, I'm gonna be way better off. Also, it is gonna run at 20% health, unlike... Well, the goblin would have as well. I think the specters do, actually. I haven't fought one yet. 
this would be my first time killing any kind of giant, I gotta say. Well, I'm not counting the ones in Forest, uh, Warsix Woods. Don't ask me why I'm not counting them, I'm just not. Uh, Sand Giants. Oh, there it is. Got hit. Only for 21, though. I've, I've done more dam- Oh, no, he's done more damage to me than I have to him. I think this is doable. I'm obviously gonna have to root it at some point, sit in med. I guess I could melee a little bit. Let's give it a shot. Oh, also, my evocation's going up, which I love. I've heard that these don't work on giants. The stun. Ooh, okay. The melee is not going well. So we're gonna... We're gonna put a pause on that. Strategic pause. Let's just root him so I can sit in med. Whew. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, so I've been playing a lot on Quarm where you can see your mana. Um, it's funny I say that because I did actually recreate Janes on Quarm just to prevent someone else from making a character named James and then Janes and then masquerading as me, which would be false identific or what would it be? False impersonation? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure there's no real legality around it, but I just didn't want it to happen, so I made Janes. She's not really high enough to do anything yet, so. I thought about making Janes all the and leveling her all the way up to 38 on Quarm and then just starting to record from there and seeing if anyone noticed. <laughs> I'm sure someone would notice. Because part of the problem that I'm having is I think I can do this, but it's gonna be a long haul. Oh god, I gotta get it down to 19% before it'll start running. Part of the problem with Quarm, well, I'm having issues recording properly, so I had to change up how I record, and then when I went to record on Project 1999 again, I had issues, and you may even see that, that may even be visible. I mean, I'm still trying to actively figure it out. Maybe by the time this airs, I will have figured it out, and you won't even notice anything different, but... I don't know what it is. Something about the aspect ratio, I guess, of Quarm made me have to shift a bunch of stuff, and then when I shifted it and I went back to this, this wasn't recording properly. It's just a pain in the butt. But I don't know how much mana I have, so let's... Well, I guess I can... This will take away about 10%, so I'll put me at about 10, 11%. Okay, good. So now the question is, do I use my last 10%? Because that would theoretically get him down to not quite enough to run. Darn it. I wish that route would have lasted just a little bit longer. Now, you might be saying, well, and still would have lasted longer. True, but and still also would have cost more mana. Try to get one more melee shot on him. Oh, and it, that last one didn't even do, do full damage. Okay. Let's just back on up. So, my, my justification for meleeing there was the 14 plus the 2 plus the 12 plus the 20 kind of undid some of the lack of this one doing full damage. I don't know. I'm just trying to... <laughs> My logic isn't super sound. If I can just get one more nuke on him, I believe that I could cause him to run. Although at this point, he's probably going to run in the water, which I don't want. Especially if he might run down near where those goblins are. So whenever this route breaks, I will run over to the south road zone line. Although the other thing I don't want to happen is I don't want him to run through the zone line. Oh my god, that's been happening on Project Quarm. Not in this zone, but in other zones. I don't know if that... I think they might have fixed that on this server. Okay. Running, running, as fast as you can. Let's get a little... There we go. Wait, how's this for an action shot? This is going to be my first real... Oh, I didn't need that. I didn't need that damage. Thankfully, it was only two. This is going to be my first real giant kill on this server, which is... I'm impressed with myself. Now, if I... Do I have 10%? I don't. I'm just shy. Raku. Now... Oh, I'm so close. You know what? I think I'm going to root him. And then just hope to sit in med. Oh, I hope he doesn't attack that Bart. <laughs> See, I do stuff like that sometimes by accident. Oh, no. That's awful. That's like the worst thing that could have happened. Because then I just wasted that 30 mana. Great, I just wasted 30 more mana. And there's another sand giant over there. Well, I'm obviously not ready for that. 
Oh, and a dry bone skeleton. How wonderful. All right, I need to just sit. I need to just hope this route lasts and sit. So, while I did recreate Janes on Project Quarm, that is not my main character on Project Quarm. I have a different character. It's a different class. It's actually a class that I've never really played before, so it's kind of fun. However, I'm not documenting stuff at the same way that I did on this walkthrough, where I did level one is a video, level two, level three, blah, blah, blah. Oh, come on. I could have used a little bit more than that. I also could have used the melee shot there. See, this sucks, because if I could just get one... In fact, maybe I'll med... Ugh, I hate doing this, but I'm going to try to just sit. Ugh, you got to get up right... Just the right second. This would actually be a, re a really good spot for him to start running at. Insufficient mana. Damn it. Now I don't want him near the water again. Oh, come on. What am I at? I'm at 11. How is that not enough? How is that not enough? I thought it was using 10. I thought it was using 10%. It was doing 9%. Ugh. What's that fading? Guard? Yeah, it's okay. I can do without guard. It's probably the least important buff I have on right now. Well, actually, some of these resists are doing nothing against the Sand Giant. Okay, let's just sit. See if I can get to, like, 12%. 12%. Ugh. Okay. Let's move him up here again, because we don't want him running into the water. We also don't want another sand giant getting involved. Jeez. This is crazy. I couldn't even... It took me a while to even find another sand giant. And now, when it rains, it pours. Okay, this should cause him to run. Okay. Whew. Now, I am not going to be able to melee him all the way down to zero. This is where I wish... I was a dark elf and I had that snare necklace. So the question is, should I sit down and med until... Oh, you know what? One hand blunt going up. Not going to complain about that. Hello. If I can just keep him here, I should be okay. But there is the question of, should I sit down and med? Uh, 3%. Can I even cast this? Nope. This is not going to be a sustainable way to get XP to, to get level 39, by the way. This is kind of just a one-off. I wanted to see if I could do it. I am actually meleeing him better than I would have guessed. But I probably still would have been better off if I just sat down and meted. See, and now I'm really worried about another sand giant walking up here. I'll just stick with meleeing, I guess. I mean, I'm doing okay. What else went up? Evocation, one hand blunt. I guess that was it. No offense, no defense. Oh, little Janes is mighty enough to take down a big giant. See, I don't want to get that damn dry bone skeleton because even though it's like half my level, it could be very annoying. Very annoying. Under magic. Come on, don't let that freaking thing attack me. Good, let's go the other way. I know, I know, I'm getting his reposts and parries if I'm fighting him from this angle, but I don't want to get the dry bone. <laughs> he's just, he's just moonwalking forward. Wow, what a face. Yeah! Okay, that's not quite the same as killing a hill giant, which I famously died to. Essence of sunlight, I think those are cells. 22 plat! Holy <laughs> That is amazing. What did I say about not being able to do this for the entire level 38? Maybe I'll... Maybe I can. I mean, if I'm getting 22 plat per kill, that is amazing. Wow. Wow. And then all that fine steel and stuff. Let's see what the, all that sells for. Probably pretty good. Get one plat there. Five plat there. One plat there. Okay. That's pretty good. It's a good uh, money-making thing. So yeah, it's not quite the same as killing a hill giant, but... You know... One step at a time. You start with the sand giants, eventually you work your way up to the hill giants. All right, maybe I can do specters here. Maybe I'll go to Firat to try those. I'll be back.
All right, welcome back, and sorry for the corrupted video file that I had to do without on that first spec kill. Uh, oh, yes, I do want this one. I think this is my last one before I ding. So, ever since I started with Project Quarm, I have had crappy luck with the uh, recording software. I don't understand why, but something about it screwed everything up. I am starting to understand, by the way, why people said not to do these specters before level 39. I don't know that level 39 is necessarily the right level, but I, I have gotten a ton of resist, and maybe we'll see a little bit of that here. Just a ton of resist. This guy just gave me clarity. He's about my level, so I'm not gonna consider it an unfair buff advantage. Plus, I don't have so. I, I mean, I, I still think if you're a Necro, you're fine here at 38. Cleric, eh, it's a little rough. I definitely wouldn't touch it if I were a Paladin. There's just so many resists that I get. And Root tends to last very briefly, and it's just kind of a nightmare. It's just not efficient. That's the best way to put it. It is not an efficient way to get XP. I'd be better off in Unrest. I could see how a Necro would be better off here, though, because you can't really fear in the Unrest uh, basement dungeon. So... Uh, there's a resist. See, this is what I'm talking about. I really hope this is the last one before I ding, because I'm kind of over this camp. I don't enjoy it. I think I might enjoy the Oasis one more. I absolutely hate that it runs in here, by the way. Like, why? Because there's another one right there that he's probably already killed, thankfully. <laughs> Here's another thing I don't understand. These things see through Invis versus Undead. That makes no sense to me. They are undead. They're, like, my undead spells are landing on them. How could they see through Invis versus Undead? But they all do. And I was thinking about what a Spectre is. They're just a skeleton with no legs, right? They kind of look ghostly, but I think they're just a skeleton with no legs. And they're wearing a rope. And they have this scythe. And almost all of them actually drop a scythe. This should finish them off. Please ding me. Ah, oh, darn it. I gotta do one more. That's okay, I got plenty to talk about. So, the bronze scythes are okay. How close am I here? I'm, I, I prefer the regular sites. The bronze sell okay. Yeah, I haven't been looting the bronze. Eh, you know what? I'm about to buy spells, so. The bronze sell okay. Oh, let me just message that guy real quick, because I told him I only needed one more. Clearly, that was a lie. So the money's pretty good, but let's just look at the fact that right now in this zone, there's three people. Two of them are level 45, and they're both camping specters. They're seven levels higher than me. That's probably about where you have to be for this to become more efficient. And I don't think I get a new Undead Nuke at level 49, so... Or 39, 39. I do get something I completely forgot about. A Velia spell that is an Undead damage over time that clerics get. That is pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to that. So, Project Quarm. Let's talk about that. It's been out for over a month, so just so you know, today is November... Don't look at that top number. This is game time. The Earth time... Or are these KOS to me? They're not. Okay, good. Earth time is Saturday, November 18th, 10.43 p.m. So, I've been playing Project Quarm since launch day, October 1st. And I've been having a blast, honestly. If you haven't heard about Project Quarm, it is designed to be like the server I'm on, Project 1999, with a few exceptions. But it is designed to go past Velius. In fact, I think it's supposed to end, hence the name, at... Planes of Power. So Quarm is the boss of Planes of Power, the same way that, you know, Faradar, I guess you could say, is the boss of Kunark. Sleeper slash Vulak slash Avatar at War is the boss of Belius. Uh, what was the the woman? Atenha Ra, I think was her name. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that fake word correctly, but... Anyway, the Quarm is the boss of Planes of Power, and I think that is where it's supposed to end. I can't imagine they would go any further than that. But the difference here is on Project 1999, you are stuck at Velius. It will not go past Velius. There's been some talk about custom content. I have yet to see any. So, and I'm playing this character, Janes, on Project 1999 Green, just so you know. The idea behind Quarm is, hey, we're kind of like P99, but we go further. And a lot of people want P99 to go further, but there's this tricky little speed bump in the way called Lucklin. So I think a lot of the people that play P99 would love to have Planes of Power, but they want to skip Lucklin. Now, I'm personally not as anti-Lucklin as a lot of people seem to be. I actually like Lucklin, I don't want to say better than Planes of Power, but 
you know what? It's a long story. I'm not going to get into that right now. I think that you can't realistically launch Planes of Power without doing Lucklin. And I also think that the people who run this server, P99, are actually more interested in Velius. I don't think they really care about Planes of Power or Lucklin. I could be wrong. I just know that for whatever reason, they have decided to stop at Velius. So Quarm comes around and it's run by this person named Secrets who I don't know much about. I mean, is that the old school Secrets? Like the person that you could find these weird forum posts from like, I don't know, going way back, early 2000s, telling you stuff about the game that no one knew. I don't know. Maybe it is the same person. Maybe it's not. But there's there's been some accusations that that person is, uh, I don't know has a vendetta against certain people and is banning them. There's been similar accusations about P99, so I'm not gonna get into all that. I have no experience. I do have some critiques of the server, but overall I'm having a blast. And I think one of the reasons I'm having a blast is that I'm playing a class that I have never played before. And it's a class that, you know, I just did my little class for new players ranking system thing video, which has gotten a ton of views. I didn't expect it to be that popular. I think it's like the second most popular video on my channel so far. The class that I chose, I'm not gonna say what it is because I wanna save that for when I do, when I launch my quorum videos, but it's a class that I wasn't really all that favorable toward in that video. So I took a chance trying a class that I've never tried before and I'm actually really enjoying it. You might be wondering, oh, before I get to my quorum content, let me just say a couple things about the server. They're not using the same UI, like, Okay, there's a few things that are different. For example, on the on Quarm, this these buffs, they come with a countdown. So if I do this on Quarm, I get to see, actually, I don't even need to do that. It just has a number in the box that says how much time is left. That's like something that they added later on in the game. So Quarm is not using the Titanium client that, that P99 uses. I can't remember the name of the client that Quarm uses, but it's a later one. So they had to modify that pretty extensively to get it to be somewhat classic. It is not as classic as P99, and yes, as some people will always point out, P99 itself is not even that classic. It's mostly classic, but there are some differences. Quarm is even less classic, but you know, if you're locking out certain content, and one of the things that they've, they did that I'm so glad, because to me it would have ruined the server if they didn't do it, was they got rid of that crappy Freeport revamp, Common Lands revamp, and they restored it to the old East and West Common Lands, the old Freeport, and the old Orc models. That, so that's an example of them trying to do something classic. Plus they've locked down the content so that you can't access the Warrens right now. You can't access, you know, Kunark is on a delayed schedule. Okay, this could be it. Then I get to do complete heal, but I still have more to talk about. So, and maybe this thing will kill me. By the way, I did not die in this camp at all, but I almost died once because a person who actually ran up to me and said, Hey man, I love your content. And I was like, oh, thank you. They trained me. <laughs> so you gotta love my adoring fans with fans like that, who needs enemies, right? I, I don't think it was on purpose. I don't think they trained me on purpose, but they did train me when I was not prepared and I didn't have so. So what I had to do was I had to run for my life and I had the gate and thank God gate was up. I was actually in such a panic that I went through my spell book looking to memorize gate. And I was like, oh, I already have it mapped because <laughs> it wouldn't let me memorize it. Uh, I nearly died. Like, I was down to 0% health, and I had it rooted just like this. Spectre is rooted right now. I was just far enough away to not get hit by its life tap. If it had been able to life tap me, that 37 points would have killed me. So I almost died once, but I didn't. I gated. And I really don't think that person did it on purpose, but it was just kind of funny that someone that ran up to me and was like, Hey, I really like your stuff on YouTube. It's like, oh, cool. Thanks for training that on me. I didn't say that to them, but because I assume it was an accident. Maybe I'm being too kind. Maybe it was on purpose. Maybe they were lying when they said they liked my content. So anyway, Quarm. The thing that they didn't do that I wish they did was they did not restore the old wolf and skeleton models like P99 has. And that really bums me out. The new wolf model, I'm okay with it. I prefer the old one, but the new skeleton model, I hate. I really hate it. Where is this thing? Is it is it running? Oh yeah, so I have melee these things down from 19%, but whew, it takes forever. I think I got a few skill ups though. Okay, let's just smack, let's just nuke this thing down. 
So it's little things like that that I don't really like. The maps are disabled, thankfully, because that to me would kind of ruin it. But overall, I've been having a blast. I think the plan is after nine months they're going to release Kunark, and then after another nine months they're going to release Felius, and after another nine months, Lucklin, and then all that stuff that's in between. I still didn't ding? Are you kidding me? I thought I was there. Wow. If I have to tell this guy one more time, he's going to be like, bro, why don't you just tell me you want the camp? <laughs> and I wouldn't blame him. I feel like such a liar. I told him I had one more, and now here I am two later. Well, plenty about Quorum to talk about. Okay, so my Quorum content. So, I have recorded so far either five or six, I can't remember. It might be five videos for Project Quorum, starting from day one. And then they're kind of spaced out. It was like day one and like day three, then a week later, then a week and a half, whatever. And right now it's November 18th, so it's been out for about a month and a half. And by the way, the server is just full of like Rubicite armor and guys of the deceivers like you see so many people with that stuff I wonder if p99 was like that at first But anyway, they're gonna get rid of that stuff. They're phasing it out like they're doing it kind of the right way I haven't Edited any of those videos yet. So that's one reason why I have not released those videos um, There is some editing to do and what I've been doing is and this is one of the other reasons why I haven't released them Every time I log in and I'm recording I do slash time so that you can see the earth time in in my quorum videos and the whole point is I want to show you because the server has transformed drastically from now a month and a half in versus the day it launched versus a week after it launched. Like even a week after it launched, East Commons was pretty much empty in terms of auctions. It was full of players, but they were low level players, camping orcs, camping Kodiaks, Will-O-Wisps, all that stuff. It, you didn't see many auctions. But now it's at the point where it's like a full-fledged auction zone, almost as hustle and bustle as P99's these common lands. And yeah, they're not. No server is ever going to do tuner or um, GFA like I had on the tuner server back in the day. I love that as the auction zone, but unfortunately, no one seems to want that anymore. So, East Commons it is. Although on this on Quarm, it'll probably be Luckland eventually. The bizarre, how bizarre. So the thing that is preventing me from releasing those videos. Number one, they're not edited. Number two, because I'm showing the timestamp every single day, I have this idea, and bear with me, because I know to some people I'm gonna sound insane when I say this. I had this idea to wait a year before I release any of my quorum videos and release them for the first time on October 1st, 2024. Now, you might think, Sage Frake, why the hell would you do something so stupid? If you've got the content now, just release it now. To me, there's two reasons. One is that I really like the idea of something that was like recorded in the moment and is sort of documented. Like that's the whole reason I've talked about sport on my channel. That's the whole reason I do this is so that someday when I'm like 60 years old, I can look back and see what it was like in 2020 to play P99, you know? I really like that. I kind of think it would be interesting to start releasing those a, a year after so that people can see, like, wow, Quarm is so hustle and bustle, assuming it's still alive in a year. Be like, wow, it, look at that. On day one, it had so many people in this zone and so many people in that zone, you know? Greater Fadar, Quinos Hills, East Commons, they were so packed with level one players, level four players. And oh, who's the first person to get level 50? And who's the first person to get their epic or you know, the Holy Fire, whatever the Paladin weapon is. I just think that would be really interesting because the server is probably going to look significantly different in a year. You might think I'm nuts and that's fine. I, I just like documenting things and then seeing them late. Like I love when they find footage from a TV show or a movie and they're like, oh yeah, did you, who, who knew that this guy said this in 1968? Oh, the footage just, like that Beatles documentary that came out a couple years ago. There's all this footage from the time. I mean, that footage wouldn't have been as interesting if it were released in 1969, the year it was recorded. What's dropping here? Guard. Now, big difference between something that was recorded in 1969 coming out in 2021 versus something that was recorded in 2023 coming out in 2024. It's like, it's only one year, dude. Not, not that much has changed. I get that. Um, and maybe I won't go through with that idea. Maybe I will release all that stuff and start editing those videos 
I mean, I'm gonna start editing them regardless, but releasing them is really the question. And of course, that is taking time away from me playing as James. Like, I should have been level 39 a while ago, but I've been playing uh, Quarm, and I love Quarm. Like, maybe it's the thrill of playing a new class. Maybe it's certain aspects of the server that I kind of just like better. But I overall prefer P99, I will say. Like, if, if you could have given me the option between, hey, Project Quarm is launching a new server, but also P99 is launching a new server on the same day, I would have picked P99. The only difference is I do want to do those latter expansions. Like, I want access to Luckland. I want access to Planes of Power. I miss those expansions. I haven't played them since live because I really haven't had an avenue to play them. I did do one. I did do the 2006 progression server. But that one was full of problems, let's just say. That was the live one. I think that was the first live one that they ever did, the first progression server. So, the other reason why I'm hesitant to release those videos now, well, first of all, I'm not recording them in the same way that I did this channel. This channel, I'm documenting level by level as like a legitimate walkthrough, or at least I think it's pretty legit. Level by level, here's how to play, here's how you can play a cleric. Here's, you know, showing each zone for the first time, showing each mob for the first time, spell levels, all that stuff. I'm not doing Quarm like that. I'm checking in like once every week, once every week and a half, being like, here's my update. I've gained two levels since the last video. I've gone to this zone. Now, the other day I did record a, a video of me going all the way through Befallen because my character on Quarm right now is level 19. So... I never showed Befallen on this channel, which I regret because it's one of my favorite zones. I also want to do Najna and I want to do Upper Guck. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I want to do a lot of the stuff that I skipped on this channel because reality is you only have so much time to do stuff. You can't be in all those level 17 dungeons at the same time. But yeah, some stuff I missed on this channel and uh, I want to show it. But this is gonna make me sound kind of petty, and I don't know how to not sound like an asshole when I say this, but, oh, level 39, hallelujah. All right, let's go back and get my spells. Yay, a full-size scythe. I, I think I said skith earlier. I, you know, I mispronounced things. Skith, scythe, whatever. Let's also see if I have enough money to buy my level 39 spells. And then that, that DOT I talked about, I gotta get that from it actually drops in Tower of Frozen Shadow, but higher up than I can go right now. I, I need to buy it in these commons, probably. So one of the things that I'm enjoying on Project Quarm, let me turn some music on here, is the fact that no one knows who I am. <laughs> because my name on that server is not Janes. Now, I did actually make Janes on that server, not on launch day. I actually waited like two weeks and then I made Janes. And I was thinking, oh, I wonder if someone that, like, doesn't like my channel purposely made a character named Jane so that they could, I don't know, ruin my reputation. I mean, I don't think anyone really cares that much, but I just thought there's a chance it would have been taken. But it was still available. And I did make it a gnome cleric that worships for Toxel. So, like, a total one-for-one one of this Jane's. But that's not my main character. I just made that to preserve the name. That Jane's character is, like, level four, I think. Might not even be four. It might be three. But anyway... Yeah, I did make Janes, but on that server, I kind of like that no one knows who I am. Like, I don't mind at all that people on this server will send me tells and say, hey, I like your videos. I totally appreciate that. Maybe not the guy that trained me with the Spectres, but <laughs> I like that people, you know, I, I really appreciate when people send me those tells. And sometimes it'll happen in a group, like someone that I group with will be like, hey, you're the person that makes the YouTube content. But the problem with that is, it makes me feel a certain pressure to play a certain way. Like, I'm not saying that if I weren't recording this, I'd be playing like a total asshole, but knowing that I do have, oh, let me sell some stuff first. Knowing that I do have, I don't want to say a reputation because that makes me sound so cocky. Like I'm just some dude with a thousand subscribers on YouTube. It's really not that big a deal, but I don't want to have this reputation of like, oh yeah, that guy, uh, he has a channel Sage Freak and he makes a video he seems like a good guy. And then it's like, oh, is he? Because I grouped with him and he was a total dick. I, I, that's the kind of thing I'm trying to avoid. I don't want people to think I'm a dick. Now, I don't think I'm a dick, but I do think that sometimes in this game like this, where the reality is we are all competing for mobs, there can be something pops up, like let's just say an ancient cyclops in 
whatever, South Row. And I, I've already had it happen a bunch of times on Project Quarm where there's like some kill stealing going on. And then I get kind of annoyed and if someone kill steals my mob, I'm like, hey dude, get out of here. Please stop kill stealing my stuff. Whereas on this server, I'd probably just be like, okay, I'm just going to leave because I don't want to deal with the drama because I don't want to ruin my reputation. And on that server, I have no reputation because no one knows who I am because I'm not using the same name. And I mean... <laughs> It makes it sound like I want an excuse to be a dick. I promise I'm not being a dick on Project Quarm, but I like that no one knows who I am. It's just kind of, it's nice to be anonymous. It's like how, uh, it's like how Brad Pitt probably wishes he could just go to the grocery store. You know, I'm just kidding. I'm nowhere near the level of Brad Pitt on P99. I'm trying to say that like, it's just nice to, to feel totally anonymous. And the truth is like, I've even thought about it. Maybe I never release those videos. I don't think that's going to happen. I've, I'm definitely going to release those videos, but there's just a, it, it kind of eases a burden. I don't want to say burden like it's this big thing, but like, it's a sigh of relief that I can just play. And the other thing is, because I don't have to document everything like I do on this channel, that's kind of a relief too. I don't have to like, oh, I didn't record any, I'm about to ding and I didn't record anything. I got to record something so that I am technically documenting level 39 or whatever the level is. I don't feel that pressure on Quarm. So it's almost like my way to play EverQuest with less pressure, like an escape, but I don't want to make it sound like this channel and this walkthrough is some undue burden that I hate dealing with. I, I love having this channel and like, I, I have, just full disclosure, I have a job that I think is really boring and lame, and I, I don't want to say I hate it, but I dislike it. I I'm, I'm certainly don't have my dream career, and one of the ways that I get through the day is I read the comments that people leave in my videos, and I love that. I love the interaction, and I read every single comment, and I interact with most of them. Like, I'll either leave the little heart or I'll, I'll reply. I love all that stuff, so don't get me wrong here. I do like what is going on with this channel. But I also kind of like the convenience of what I have going on on Project Quarm. I don't want to say the name of my character because then people know who I am. But that can only last for so long because I am eventually... Ooh, there's the, new, the old skeleton model that I love way more than the one on Quarm. I love having this channel and my Project Quarm character will eventually be on this channel. Probably, at most, it'll be a year. Maybe I'll wait till the Kunark launch. I mean, I'm on track right now to probably hit level 50 before Kunark comes out, which is something I wasn't able to do on this channel because I, you know, it's a lot. I don't want to get into it. But yeah, I, there is some pressure that I feel to show a different zone every level on Quarm. I just don't have that. But I know that it's not going to last forever because there's going to come a point, even if I wait a year, and I don't think I would wait more than a year. So October 1st, 2024 is the latest I would release those Quarm videos. By that point, you know, my anonymity will be gone, and that's fine. And again, it's not like I'm inundated with tells. Like, look, here today, I, I are the only person I've interacted with is that guy that he doesn't know who I am. I didn't get any indication he did. I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm some super popular guy. It's, it's more pressure that I put on myself, as opposed to, like, I'm saying I, I have all this pressure from people being like, hey, don't be a dick. Remember, you have a YouTube channel. It's pressure I put on myself. And... That's going to go away on, on Quarm, the fact that I don't have that there, because I am going to release those videos while I'm still playing the character. So, while it's, I guess what I'm saying is, it's nice while it lasts. It's nice to just be able to play freewheeling, record at my will, uh, which I don't want to do on this channel, or on this character, but I do want to do on that character, until I get to a point where I show you who I am, and the class that I'm playing. And I, I am looking forward to that, because I'm really having a blast playing that class, that I didn't think I would enjoy, but I'm kind of enjoying it. So, with all that said, that's why there are no Project Quarm videos yet, because I have had a few people ask me, and of course I released a little trailer. I have had a few people ask me about that. That's the status of the Project Quarm videos. Sorry that they're not out yet. Okay, let me figure out what spells... Well, this guy... I don't think it's anything this guy's selling. Definitely not that. Goodness, it took me forever. I was about to go to the Abbey of Deep Musing and just buy stuff there. That's the good cleric guild. I could not find this thing for the life of me. Oh my gosh, 21 plat. Get out of here. Okay, this is the spell that makes the class, folks. This is the 
the bread and butter, the money maker. This is what gets clerics into all those raids. Level 39, complete healing. I wish I knew how much mana I had because that's gonna cost me 400 per cast. Is it 400 or 300? 400, whoo! Let's see how much of my mana bar that eats up. It's gonna be a lot. And yeah, I had a hell of a time finding. I, I still don't know who sells the other spells down here. I mean, goodness gracious. Resuscitate? Resurrection? I know I get a new... Yeah, there it is. And... Nope, I already got that. Okay, yeah, I have no idea. I'll try to find who sells my other spells. Okay, I think I finally found the guy. Ooh, do I get resist? No, not until 44. Resolution, wow, that's a good one. Ooh, Retribution, that's a good one too. Okay, I love those AE spells. And Pacify, yeah, I'll take that. Nullify, heck yeah. Invoke Fear, I'm probably never gonna use that, but okay. How, how am I doing on money? I'm doing okay. Oh, Earthquake is a good one too. Dismiss Summoned, I've, I've yet to really use any of those summon spells, but ooh, Armor of Faith, that's a good one. Oh, I hope that lasts longer than Guard. Guard, I, I am constantly recasting Guard. Oh, complete healing. This is so epic. Okay, I have to show complete healing. I have to show it. It's gonna be so cool. Did I just get superior healing? Is that level 34? Wow, look at that. Uh, Word of Souls, that's an AE. Pacify. Nullify magic and invoke here, which I'm probably not gonna use. Is there another one down here? There are two more, okay. Armor of Faith, that's one I cannot wait. So let me let me mem that real quick. And then I guess I'll put superior healing here for now. I might actually have to have three heals mem. Actually, you know what? I'm probably so this is so funny about complete healing. You wait your entire career as a cleric to get complete healing and then you get level 39 and you still don't really use complete healing. The reason being, it's not that great of a, it's not a mana efficient spell. Let me show you what I'm talking about. First of all, check out this cast time. 10 seconds, folks. Oh, fizzled, great. Okay, 10 seconds and I'm starting at 84% mana. So that means each cast is probably gonna use about 30%. Yeah, about 30%. You are completely healed. Oh, that's the that's that's the spell description that we've all been waiting for. So it's a 10 second cast time and it uses 400 mana. It uses 30% of my mana. That means I can only cast it three times. Actually, the last time I played a cleric, I remember it being even more burdensome. I remember it being like freaking 40% of my mana. So maybe, what do I have? 157 wisdom? Maybe I'm not doing as bad as I thought with the wisdom. Because I always figured gnomes are pretty bad with the wisdom, but yeah, 30%. And obviously, if it fizzles, it just doesn't become really mana efficient until like your mid 40s. Because also, it's not mana efficient because the tanks you're healing at this level, they so complete healing heals up to 10,000. No one has anywhere close to 10,000, obviously. Like, even later, like maybe I don't even think Bellius people hit 10,000 hit points, like the best tanks in the game. I don't think they're hitting 10,000. Maybe there's some like level 60 warrior decked out in I don't know whatever Temple of Vishen gear that barely has like 9999 correct me if I'm wrong but my theory is the complete heal is not that useful to use until your tanks start to have around like probably 2500 hit points because otherwise superior healing heals like 550 I think it's somewhere around there and that's just more efficient for way less mana. It's it's just the more efficient. Well, I guess it's a little more than half. It's probably like 60% of complete heal. Anyway, this has been level 38. I know I rambled for a while there about Quarm and all that stuff, but I think you get my point. If enough, I might do a poll and just see if people are like, hey dude, no one cares. Just release the videos now. Like no one cares who you are. Maybe that's the case, uh, but if you think you can wait and you think it might be even more fun to see a year on, let me know. I'm curious what you think. If everyone is like, dude, just release them now, no one cares, then I will release them 
sooner than later. I will release them sooner than a year from now. So leave a comment, let me know, and if I don't get enough comments, I will do a poll. And I'll, I'll form an opinion based on that. But for now, we have Jane's at level 39 with 1,206 hit points. I actually haven't cast Valor since I dinged, or Armor Protection. And I gotta go get that spell from these commons, so maybe I'll do that now, because I have 177. I saw it selling for about 50 plat each. So yeah, we will get that last spell, and I'll also check to make sure I'm not missing any spells. Watchman Dreeb has been looking out for me since I was level 1, even though he's apprehensive about me still. Okay, leave a comment, let me know what you think about Quarm. If you've been playing Quarm, leave a comment too, because I'm curious. I've already seen some posts from people being like, I hate Quarm, I'm coming back to P99. <laughs> And I'm over here like, why not both? Okay, bye.